So what are you doing yourself there? We what? took his marriage. Uh -huh. We removed him from the pulpit. You removed him from the pulpit? Yes, I did. How? He only got married for three months. For three months. And after that, he, he got divorced. You removed him from pulpit. And after yeah. that, I removed him from the pulpit. So that he must not preach? Yes. So you, well, know, you know he's a pastor? He, he's a pastor, yes. But you were able to remove him from the pulpit? Yes. How? I did so. How did you do that? <laughs> because of, I realized that he's weak in some areas. <laughs> you, you realize he was some, he's weak in some areas? Yes. Like what? He get tempted easy, this guy. He get tempted easy? Yes. How? In fact, women love this guy. So I will bring them. The one that is going to destroy him. So you brought the world. I, I, I will keep on bringing them. Who came with him here? If you're a woman, you came with him. Are you the one? You came with him. How do you know him? He's my boyfriend. He's your boyfriend. So you're also push, putting him down? No. So, so all women are of putting him down? Yes. So what about this one now? Go there, go there, go there. <laughs> so what, uh, how do you know this one? Uh, this one, I, she's a worshiper, this one. It's so I also want to remove him from her. You, you want to remove? I also want to remove him from her. Even from the family, I removed him. She's a worshiper. What do you mean, worshiper? She's a, she's a worshiper, this one. So what I'm saying, even this guy, I want to remove him from this lady because I removed him from the marriage, I removed him from the family, I removed him from the pulpit. I just want to make him useless. So, oh, now I see. It was a TV Joshua, now it's you. Uh, what, what is the meaning of that? Mm. I, uh, he went to TB Joshua. Before he get married, uh -huh. and then now he came. He comes here. Now it's you again. So what's wrong with me? Leave him. You want him to remove him from the. I pulpit. want to change what God has imparted in him to be mine. Leave him. Leave this guy. All right. Who are you? Want to change? I'm Azazel. Don't you know Azazel? Azazel. I'm Lucifer. So you can hear Lucifer. Another name of you, Lucifer, you're called. Hey, why are you looking at these people of this church? <laughs> What's wrong with the people of the church? Hi. Huh? Hey, Lucifer. What's yes, wrong? the other one here. Huh? Lucifer, what do you want here now? This is not, it's a wrong address to you. We are not your friend. So you, you are able to remove by temptations. Yes, that's what I'm doing. So therefore you are taking pastor. And when you are busy raising men and when women of God, we will come after you, you too. You will come after me? Yes. Bring him, he want to come after me. <laughs> I want to understand. You people, I think we have got pastors here. Uh, what he's saying is very true. There's a lot of temptations to every man of God. I think, pastors, this is a great lesson for us. Uh, so you say, I'm busy raising and you come after me. Yes. Can you explain? We want to destroy all our children. We will come after them. We will bring women after them. You want to destroy my children, you want to destroy me? Yes. Which one you want to destroy? All of them. Whom every... Me and my children? All of them. The one who are raising, we <laughs> want to destroy them. I want you to understand that I want to say, me or my children, 
They say they want to destroy all we, we are raising. How do you want to destroy them? Because I know you are just talking. How? Like we did with this guy, we want to change what God wants to do with them. By do you, I mean here now, you say you want to come after me and destroy my children. How you want to destroy them? We want to change. To change? Yes. What is it that you want to change in my children? For instance, if the person is a prophet, is a true prophet, we can change him to be a sangoma. Uh, now you are lost now. Okay, explain. How do you change a prophet to be a sangoma? Anything that they can come contact with that we operate with. We can operate with codes. Uh -huh. Yes. And, and I, I know a lot of people, they don't know the codes. Oh, you, you use codes? They are secret codes. I'm sure you are learning that. Can you just explain those codes? Most of them, they are on the left hand of the one who are serving in the kingdom of darkness. On the left side? On the left hand. Okay? Yes. Uh, most of them. But why are you questioning me like this? <laughs> it's because you are here. I he wanted right. to come here. Always when he comes here, I, I don't want him to come here. Really? Because of I changed what God has imparted in him. That's the main issue I want you to hear. But I want you to understand I want to understand the issue of changing a prophet to a sangoma. How? It's possible. We can explain the visions. The visions. As much as a, 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 a prophet can see a, a vision, also a demon can see a vision. We can give them wrong visions. You can hear that. So, how will you know that you are not on the other side? Look at your character, your Christian life. Everybody needs to be a Christian. If now I see a vision and I'm jolling around, you understand? Automatically, I might be arrested. That's what they can do, these people. They can bring ladies uh, to you for counseling. You forget you are a man of God. So, can you tell me about the codes you are talking about? The codes, they are on the left hand, some they found on the foot. And Every then, foot they've got barcodes. barcodes. Can Number you nine stands for Lucifer. Number three stands for devil worshiper. Number six stands for Satanist. Every food is having a barcode. If three is not there, six is there. If six is not there, nine is there. Or all of them, they are there. So you put, you put those numbers. They are there. They are there. St three stands for something. Six stands for something. Why is it like you were using this guy now? You were using him now when you arrested him. I can't hear you, Makananis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Makananis is a problem. <laughs> Makananis is a problem. I say, why is it like you wanted to use him when you win him? We actually don't want to use him. We want to destroy him. In fact, he was supposed to be in Botswana, this guy. I can't no. record made it in Botswana. God called him in Botswana. So he was supposed to be there. He got married in Botswana in three months. He got divorced last year. Oh, you can hear that. So today is your last day here. Ah, Tlabana day. I can hear. Let me cut see. Your, let me just cut your head here. I, I cut your head. Can I cut you like this? You are finished. I, I, I. Let me, let me watch, 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 watch. It's over in Jesus' mighty name. You are defeated.
Rise up. I'm a lender wood. My brother, how do you feel now? I'm, I'm blessed, Pastor. Why are you there? I don't know. Can you tell us what took you out from the pulpit? Explain. Um, because I, you were a preacher, eh? you were a pastor. Yes. Man. What makes you to go out from the pulpit? Can you explain? Uh, normally, I was invited in Botswana, but uh, by that time, I was under International Assemblies of God. Okay. And then I got married in Botswana. I married a, a teacher that side. But uh, in a couple of months, we got divorced, and then I started a church. Actually, before I married that side, I started a church that side. Uh, and then I married, and then after getting married, uh, after a couple of months, we got divorced. But uh, I, I don't know the, the major reasons. I can't tell even the major reason for the, for the divorce. How did you get uh, this woman in Wuchan? So you were invited there? Yes, I was invited and she... You saw her when you were preaching? Uh, actually, I was preaching uh. for the whole week. And then I came back to South Africa. And then she started to send inboxes on Facebook. And she was saying she won prayer? Yes. Uh, the, she, she was saying a lot of things that I can um, I have to go to Botswana. <coughs> she will book the, the hotel for me and stuff like that. And then I refused, I think, a couple of times up until I, I went there. It was very good. It was very good. This is a great lesson that you will never find yourself mm -hmm. in again. Because now it's true that you ascended in Botswana. Yes. But you know this thing of texting messages with ladies is very, very bad. How do you know this person is a satirist? So a person can still send you a message and say, hey, I want prayer. Hey, can you talk with me? What if the person send you naked clothes, uh, naked, uh, naked pictures? Would you understand them, my brother? Yes, I mm, So... I believe God will send you back to Botswana. But this is a great lesson. But it must end there. You want prayer? Yes. Bam! It's over. But if the person comes and says, hey, I will do this for you, do that for you, it's very dangerous for you. I mean, some blessings are not blessed. God bless you. You'll make it. Amen. Amen. You'll make it. And uh, now, the lady you came with, where is she? Ceci. The lady you came with, let her come. Because I think there's too much confusion on you. It's true God wants to use you, but... Where is she coming from? She's coming from Tanini. Tanini. Yes. So, you want to marry her? Yes, that's my heart desire. Me, I'm coming from Northwest at Oh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> because, you know, uh, uh, it's very tough. After now you are delivered now, you must seek God concerning marriage without coming together. Yes. You understand? Yes. The issue that you want to marry someone but you are still sleeping with this person, uh, Satan can also use it to be a stumbling block. Yes. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yes. You hear me, my sister? Yes. Huh? Yes. Yes. If now you want to marry you people, can you distance to each other? You wait for the right time there. You can see the case on my brother. How will my brother know you that you are a right person if you're not living a holy life? Because this must never happen again. You live right life. And say, okay, I'm a Christian. Like yourself, we heard you're a worshiper. So what kind of songs are you singing if now you are doing things that are people are married, who are married. Can you just just say, you wait for the right time. It will work for you. Are you hearing me? Yes. God bless you. Thank you. Amen. Yes. God bless you.
You want to marry, but uh, it's happening to many people. If you just distance to each other, you will, you will, you will experience the real life until you marry. You will experience it. But if now you are with a person and then you are, you are, you are eating ice cream together, always you are working together like this. Like this. And you are doing like this together. Already you are telling people what? Even if you are not, there's a temptation. Because Jesus said, if you look at a woman, that's the temptation now. You've already done it. If you, the reason why you do like this, already it means you have look and you conclude and you've already done it. But if you keep it distant, it will work for you. Satan won't have a chance to attack the relationship. So you pray, that one pray. I'm sure I'm answering many people here. Amen.